Hi there, I'm Jennifer Catherine. Uh, I am an angel intuitive, meaning I'm clairaudient, clairsentient, and clairvoyant. I communicate with your angels and guides to give you guidance on your life. And I'm also a relationship coach, so I can help you with your pictures, your profile, any communication, and the actual date itself. Today, I'm going to talk about the 10 ways to meet a man in real life. So a lot of people don't like online dating, they don't enjoy online dating, and I've really never met anyone who really does enjoy it, but um, there are other ways to meet men that don't involve apps. So um, it's a really good combination with your online dating to also do these 10 other things. So if you do it um, at the same time, you're just increasing your chances of meeting the right person. So the first thing um, would be to check out events um, on Facebook that your friends are attending. So um, just look at all the events and see something that interests you that would be like a big group of people. Like um, your friends are going to a concert and you could join or there's um, some kind of event that interests you. Yoga on the beach, um, all sorts of stuff, any activities you could think of, any hobby that you have. Um, there's a Facebook event around it and some of your friends are going so you could you know contact your friends so You don't have to go alone or you could just show up either way um, The second thing always go to your friends birthday parties So you're gonna meet a new group of people um, when you're out with other people so that friend of yours um, might have a brother who brings a friend or something like that you know you never know who you're gonna meet so even if you're all meeting you know at a restaurant for drinks or whatever and it's after work and you're tired and you really don't feel like going go just go to your friend's birthday because you never know who you're gonna meet there um, another way to meet men um, it may not be practical here in Southern California but in other areas you can take public transportation to work and meet people that way but you're not going to meet someone if you're you know, buried in your phone the whole time or you've got your headphones in and you're not paying attention to your surrounding. No one's going to bother you. No one's going to talk to you if you're like shut down. But if you're open and, you know, like looking around and like engaging in conversation with people, then that makes you more approachable and a man could approach you, you know, safely in that way. Um, another way is to volunteer your time. So pick a cause that you are passionate about and look up to see, you know, what volunteer opportunities they have. You know, there could be like at the animal shelter or fostering kittens or um, there's a cleanup at the beach or, you know, if you feel really passionately about um, reading to children, there's opportunities at the library, there's other opportunities for literacy programs for kids and adults. Um, whatever you're passionate about, feeding meals to the homeless, you know, you're going to meet people there who are also passionate about what you're passionate about. So that's a great place to meet someone too. Um, another thing that I do almost every day is talk to strangers. So I know your parents probably um, beat it into you that you should never ever talk to strangers. Well, now you're an adult and you can make decisions about who you want to talk to and who you don't think you want to talk to. So when you're at Starbucks in the morning getting your coffee, chat up the person in front of you or behind you. Um, and if it's not a man that you're interested in, then you can just use that opportunity as practice for when you do see a man you're interested in that you can float a line. Um, and it doesn't have to be like, I'm picking you up, you know, where do you work, you know, what do you do, you know. It can just be something commenting about the weather. If you give a guy an opener like the weather and he's interested in you, he'll take it and run and he'll just keep the conversation going on anything. Um, but you have to start it. You have to like throw the crumb out there that you're interested and in, you want to talk um like at the at coffee or whatever you can say you know um what kind of muffin are you gonna get or like are the lemon muffins good here you know anything like that do you like the cappuccinos whatever it doesn't matter um just try to start conversations and engage people and then it'll be more comfortable when you actually want to do it with someone you're actually interested in um number six get a dog or borrow one and go for a walk 
or even to the pet park. Uh, a lot of people on the weekends are there at the park walking their dogs and interacting with their dogs and dog owners like other dog owners. And if you're a dog owner, hey, you know, you just met someone that you have something in common with. Or if you don't have a dog, borrow a friend's dog and go for a walk. Because um, even then, you know, you can see that, hey, I'm a dog person, even though I don't have a dog at the moment. Um, I, you know, am interested in other people that do have pets. So um, that's a really good way to meet someone and really casually, you know, just start talking about the dog. And if it doesn't go anywhere, oh, well, no one's lost anything. You're just at the park, right? Um, number seven is take a class. So if you've always wanted to learn French or do pottery or cook some exotic dish, even a non-exotic dish, um, take a class about it. There's classes in your local community center for all of these things, or you can search online. There's all of these like posh cooking shops now that offer classes um, and um, you can find, you know, any kind of retail, you know, pottery place they do all that stuff or you could like find an actual college campus and take a class like a community-based class um, to learn something new that you always wanted to learn um, so not only does you know getting out there and like learning new things make you look more attractive as a person um, to someone else it's also really rewarding you know for you to grow and learn in your own life just something you've always wanted to learn, just go and learn it. Scuba diving, yeah, go get certified, it's fun. Um, anything, swimming, whatever. Um, physical activities also fall into this category. So um, if you ever wanted to meet someone new, you know, take a class. You might be surprised who else is interested in the same thing you're interested in. Um, the next one is uh, agree to be set up on a date by one of your friends. So sometimes this isn't the best way um, because a lot of your friends don't know other single men or whatever, but if you put it out there that you're willing to be set up and you're interested, then an opportunity might arise with one of your friends that, oh, hey, I do know this guy. You know, do you want to go out on a blind date? Hey, try it. You know, you never know. Lots of people met their spouse on a blind date. So if you agree to be set up, you can probably vet the person on your own a little bit if you want and then go out with them and see if it actually clicks. Um, the ninth way is to become a regular somewhere. So if you're, um, you always go to the same cafe on a Thursday night and hang out for a little bit and read your book, hey, do that. And then once you establish that you're like gonna do this every Thursday, you'll kind of see the same people or maybe just a random person over and over again um, to it kind of just if you feel like you belong, it kind of gives you more confidence to talk to people. So if you go there alone and sit at the bar um, and then, you know, you someone else sits down, you feel like comfortable, like this is my place. I come here every Thursday, so I know what's good here and I know everybody here and I know all the bartenders, whatever. Um, it just kind of helps you feel more comfortable so you can branch out and um, talk to people because it's really the talking to people that's going to get you um, interested in more available men. Um, and if, if that person that you're talking to happens to be in a relationship or married, they might know someone who's single and looking. Um, the last way uh, to meet a man in real life is to do more things alone. So this is uncomfortable for a lot of people, but a lot of introverted people actually like to be alone so it's it goes both ways but you're more likely to talk to people and people are more likely talking likely to talk to you if you're not with a group of your girlfriends because men find that really intimidating when a woman is with three or four girlfriends they don't want to come up to her and get shot down you know and then like made fun of with all of her friends like oh my god did you see that guy he's totally hitting on me um, they don't want to be that guy so they're not likely to come up to a woman who's with a group of girlfriends but if you're alone that's a much easier proposition for him to come up and start talking to you because he's not going to get embarrassed or ridiculed or shot down by one of your friends um, and it's just a little bit easier for him to have that opportunity if you're by yourself um, if you don't like doing things by yourself, bring a book or a journal um, so you can feel more comfortable being alone. Like, oh, I'm actually doing something. I'm like writing right now. I'm journaling my day or whatever. 
Um, so that it doesn't feel as uncomfortable like, oh my gosh, I'm alone, what am I doing here? Um, so just go have lunch in a cafe by yourself and bring a book. And then if someone asks you, hey, what are you reading? Engage in conversation, Just go, don't just go, oh yeah, whatever, and go back to your book. <laughs> the point of being out there is to engage people in conversation. I can't stress this enough. So if you hate online dating, you're gonna have to break out of your comfort zone a different way and engage and talk to strangers in all of these 10 ways that I described. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you'd like to get more information about me or relationship coaching, you can go to jennifercatherine.org. It's in the description box. Um, I do have dating and relationship coaching packages um, for anyone and everyone. Um, if you have a friend, please forward this video to her if you feel like this information would be helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have other videos on this channel, um, how to spot a narcissist, um, how to tell an online profile is fake, uh, other topics like that. Um, and if you have a question or anything, you could put it in the comments. I'll read all the comments. And um, if you have any ideas for what you'd like the next video to be about, go ahead and leave it in the comments. So hopefully this information gave you more confidence and remember, confidence is beautiful. Thanks, bye.